The weights for newborn babies are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 6.7 pounds and a standard deviation of 1.1 pounds. To save time, I've already set up the graph below. And notice how we have the mean of 6.7 at the center of the distribution, and the horizontal axis is scaled by the standard deviation of 1.1. We're asked to consider a group of 500 babies. Number one, how many would you expect to weigh between five and seven pounds? So we'll first find the probability the weight is between five and seven pounds, and then we'll determine how many of the 500 babies would weigh between five and seven pounds. We can indicate the probability that the weight is between five and seven pounds as the probability that x is greater than five and less than seven. So looking at the graph below, notice five pounds is approximately here, and seven pounds is approximately here. The probability that the weight is between five and seven pounds is equal to the area under the curve between five and seven, which is this area here. And notice the weights of five and seven pounds are not standard deviations above or below the mean, and therefore, to find this area, or the probability, we cannot apply the empirical rule. We will have to either use technology or determine the z-scores and use a table. In this video, we will be using the normal cumulative density function on the T84. So let's go to the calculator. From the home screen, we press second vars, and then number two for normal cumulative density function. The lower bound or left bound is the weight of five pounds, enter. The upper bound or right bound is the weight of seven pounds, enter. Mu is the mean of 6.7. And sigma, the standard deviation is 1.1. When we press enter on paste, if you have an older T84, you may have to enter the information on the home screen as it looks here. And then we press enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0.5464. which is equal to 54.64%. So to answer the question, how many of the 500 babies would you expect to weigh between five and seven pounds, we need to find 54.64% of 500. To do this, we convert the percent to a decimal, which is 0 0.5464, and multiply by 500. And we'll round to the nearest baby. So going back to the calculator, we could press times 500, which will multiply the previous result by 500, or we can enter the approximation of 0 0.5464 times 500. To the nearest baby, we get the same result of approximately 273 babies. For number two, how many of the 500 babies would you expect to weigh less than six pounds? We first need to find the probability that x is less than six, and then we'll use that probability to find that percent of 500 babies. Notice six pounds is approximately here. We want the probability that x is less than six, and therefore, we need the area on the left, or this area here. So going back to the calculator, we press second vars, number two. Because we're looking for all the area to the left, we will need to exaggerate the lower bound or left bound. Let's use negative 999999, enter. The upper or right bound is six, enter. Mu and sigma remain the same, so we go down to paste, press enter, and press enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.2623. which is 26.23%. To find 26.23% of 500, we multiply 0 0.2623 and 500. So going back to the calculator, again we could just press times 500, which would be faster, or we can also enter 0 0.2623 times 500, the nearest baby both give us approximately 131 babies.
For number three, how many of the 500 babies would you expect to weigh more than 7.5 pounds? Well, 7.5 pounds is approximately here. The probability that the weight is more than 7.5 pounds is equal to the area to the right. So now we'll have to exaggerate the upper bound. So going back to the calculator, second vars, number two, the lower bound is the weight of 7.5 pounds. Enter. We need to exaggerate the upper bound. Let's use 999999. Enter. Everything else stays the same. Press enter on paste and enter again. We have approximately 0 0.2335, which we indicate as the probability that x is greater than 7.5. Again, is approximately 0 0.2335, which is 23.35%. To find 23.35% of 500 babies, we multiply 0 0.2335 and 500. So again, it's faster just to press times 500, but we can enter 0 0.2335 times 500. So the nearest baby both give us approximately 117 babies. And for number four, how many of the 500 babies would you expect to weigh between six and eight pounds, which we indicate as the probability that x is greater than six and less than eight. On the graph, six pounds is approximately here. Eight pounds is approximately here. So we're looking for the area between six and eight to determine the probability the weight is between six and eight pounds. Second bars, number two, lower bound or left bound is six, upper bound or right bound is eight, everything else remains the same. Press enter on paste and enter again. We have approximately 0 0.6191, which is 61.91%. To find 61.91% of 500, we need to find the product of 0 0.6191 and 500. Which is approximately 310 babies. I hope you found this helpful.